Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Kerrville Weekly News Roundup hosted by the Texas Hill Country Podcast Network. We are your co-host, Andrew Gay and Tom Fox, and we are also uh, founders in the Texas Hill Country Podcast Network. We're happy to be here this afternoon and just share with you a few quick top picks of our favorite news stories from this week. So, Thank you very much for joining us. And Tom, if you want, sir, why don't you kick us off? Sure. So uh, a couple of stories, Andrew. The first one was the uh, meeting of the library committee. And uh, that has become one of the most contentious areas in Kerrville. Uh, a group of uh, citizens have complained that there are books which they believe should be censored from the library. Uh, they have uh, filed criminal charges against uh, librarians. They have uh, caused a commotion at uh, Kerr County Commissioner's Court and have got Kerr County Commissioners uh, about ready to not fund the library in Kerrville. And the library had its uh, monthly meeting. And before they take up any policy changes, uh, this meeting was dedicated to public input. And the public turned out in support of the libraries and the librarians and the books they have. Uh, they completely debunked the claims that the American Library Society is running the Kerrville Library. Yes, uh, the Kerrville Library is a member, uh, but the Kerrville Library follows the rules and requirements as laid out by the uh, state of Texas, not any uh, national volunteer organization. Uh, probably the strongest statements were that uh, if parents are worried about the books in the library, well, the parents need to exercise parental censorship over their children. And whether that be you don't give them a library card, whether it be you go with them to the library, but it's not up to the library to pull books because three people find it offensive that there's a reference uh, to a gay bartender. Uh, but the uh, meeting went off relatively smoothly. 50 people spoke. Interestingly, the Kerr County commissioners did not show up to speak. And I think that speaks, speaks pretty loudly in and of itself. So we got through that. Uh, then uh, there will be uh, later policies which are presented to the public. The second story, uh, a little bit lighter, but hopefully a little bit uh, more fun. And it's uh, a group called the Highwaymen. They're a tribute band or playing at the Caillou Center this weekend. And I really uh, wanted to talk about that, Andrew, because the music scene in this town is unbelievable. There I are, agree. Love it. You know, 10 venues every weekend and, and almost 10 venues every night where there's some form of live music. And uh, this group is a professional group touring through Kerrville. They're coming here to play in our little town. Obviously, we have the Kerrville Folk Festival, but this is just a regular weekend in Kerrville, and there's great music. And it, 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 we have it as vari uh, varied as choral, orchestral singing, country western, songwriters, rock and roll, pretty much everything in between. So uh, it's going to be a big weekend. I'm really excited for the Highwaymen and the music scene in Kerrville. Here it is February, and it's as vibrant as it's ever been. It sure is. And I just to that point, I just want to expand on that just a little bit. I have wonderful experiences listening to live music here in Kerrville. And it's awesome because it's in my backyard. And my wife and I, I love that scene. You know, we have the Trailhead Beer Garden right on Shriner Campus, which is filled now, I think, from my understanding, almost every Friday and Saturday night with some kind of live music, whether it's someone from the college or someone that they brought in. And just the other weekend, I don't think I mentioned it on here, but uh, Marcy Playground, which is a it's a alternative rock band from my childhood that had you know a really big hit back then came to one of the ranches just outside of town and and that was that was just awesome to see them so i, I really appreciate you touching on the live music part so uh, i think my stories the first what we'll go from music to food uh i think this is a big deal because we have gotten several notices over the last couple of months of new additions to the kerrville area as far as uh food goes we had some fast food additions and whatnot, but this one particularly is is Freddy's. 
which is a frozen custard and steak burger joint. And this article here that I'm showing is from ISA, uh, just straight off their website. And if, you know, I saw someone earlier on social media asking, like they were, they were getting super excited about it. And then their question was, well, what they're like, I'm excited about it, but I don't even know what a steak burger is, but I, I would, there, there's definitely a difference between if you haven't had a steak burger, there is a difference between a steak burger and just a normal ha American hamburger. There really is. There's a, there's a little bit of a taste difference there. Uh, but I, I'm all about it. I'm, I'm not too big on the, the ice cream or the frozen custard side, but I'm excited for that. And it gets me pumped up to see, um, someone like this, especially a chain like this, that's as prominent as they are and has been successful and has a good, uh, consumer, um, following as them coming, coming here. So that that was one that was that was pretty exciting I'm, I'm glad i saw that one and then i think the other one that i wanted to mention was uh the apartment development that was on last week's city council agenda and they talked about uh the developers there they had some permitting issues they had to discuss um but just recently i was looking into that and it looks like it's going to be just south of town here and i know Kerrville's on kind of a strange grid where it's not really north south east west it's kind of turned a little bit as far as the major thoroughfares that come through here but 16 that runs out south of town um, i believe from my understanding it's gonna the development of an apartment complex there is going to be by camp meeting road which i believe is out there on uh, the south side of 16 and just like you and i were talking before we got the podcast started i think that that could be a great addition to our area because one of the big issues that we're facing here uh, and the highlights of even the economic summit that's that's taking place here in the next couple of weeks is is workforce housing and that's that's been a big topic over the last few years and it's just become more and more of an issue so hopefully developments like this can help us try to solve that issue um, in a problem in a in a in a smart way to where it, it can take some kind of um, positive action for our community and our housing issue here um, so those are my two stories tom you got anything else to add before we before we call it quits for the weekend uh looking forward to getting back to some warm weather so i can uh, be outside this weekend Andrew. yeah uh same here and i don't think i don't think i have anything planned but rest this weekend so i'll be happy to to, to do that my wife and i'll just hang out with the dog so do house projects as she calls it i get roped into it so i don't have to say Okay, guys, uh, I think that'll do it for us. Thank you guys for joining us for our quick news update. We hope that you have a safe and wonderful weekend, and we'll catch you back here next week. Oh, and don't forget, next Friday, um, but from 1130 to 1, we are doing a workshop at the Croc Center, the Ray and Joan Croc Center here in Kerrville, about why your business needs a podcast. It's only $20 for you to join. You get some lunch. You get to hear from us, the founders of the Texas Hill Country Podcast Network, and the star of the show, Tom Fox here, full-time podcaster about why your business needs a podcast. So please come out and join us. It's going to be a good time. We do already have some attendees scheduled and uh, we, we really look forward and hope that you will join us next Friday. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful weekend.